Root is the primary token of the Root network. Community owned, designed to power and connect digital experiences within Futureverse and beyond. The root network itself works on a dual token system. It uses root tokens for security and governance, while XRP is used for the gas fee. This is unique as most blockchains use their primary token as the gas fee. What's also unique is the network is working to implement an any token gas fee. So as an example, if you are using the root network and you happen to only have Ethereum, eventually at some point you'll be able to use that Ethereum as the gas fee while being on root. Root tokens are used for security and governance. Root is currently used for staking or nominating validators. From this, root stakers are subject to receive Vortex tokens. Before we get into Vortex tokens more, you should know that the root network has fees from decentralized exchanges, NFT marketplaces, communication protocols, material world, etc. 0.5% marketplace transaction fees and 0.05% DEX transaction fees. The Vortex tokens I mentioned before are where those fees go to. As the network traffic picks up, so does the Vortex pool of tokens. Vortex tokens are released every 90 days. For the first 260 weeks of the network, there is 10% of the root token supply being used as bootstrap rewards. ASTO, Alter State Machines AI Protocol. This token helps bring AI to life through AI agent training, DAO governance, minting NFTs, in-game transactions, asset creation, and more. One of the interesting opportunities with ASTO is you can stake it to the ASM Cortex and receive ASTO energy one-to-one daily. This ASTO energy can be used to mine or mint Gen 2 brains. This is currently down as I believe that they are trying to uh, transfer the ASM protocol to be hosted on the root network. Something that's cool about this opportunity to be able to use the Cortex and stake your Asto is with this Asto energy, some things will have that as the cost. So when you are mining or minting these Gen 2 brains, instead of having to spend your Asto, you can just spend this Asto energy that you just got and not lose your Asto. The agent training is through machine learning models at artificial intelligence gyms. We've been able to see this on a test network with Patty, but if you're wanting to see the type of games the ASM protocol and token will be used for, download the FIFA AI League on mobile. Silo is getting an overhaul and it sounds like it's going to be integrated significantly more within the Futureverse and Root Network ecosystem than originally planned. So the next little bit, we're going to go off some documentation, but realize hey, some of this could change a little bit. But the Silo network is focused on decentralized communications. You can download the Silo app on mobile to give it a whirl, but its current iteration feels like WhatsApp with a built-in wallet. From current documents, it's used to remunerate the cost of running a silo node. It uses a probabilistic micro payment system. I'll post the link down in the description if you're wanting to go over the documentation or leave a comment if you want me to read through it for you. Silo tokens are also used to measure an individual's level of participation in the silo network. The amount of silo token that a node has staked determines how much work it is responsible for completing and as a result, how much that node can earn. To run an incentivized node, you need to own a Seekers NFT. I believe it's thought that you need 50,000 silos staked to run a node. On Etherscan, it shows a circulating supply of just over 4.1 million silo. And if 1,000 people wanted to run nodes, that'd be 50 million silo needed. And finally, to touch on the Vortex tokens a little bit more, because I feel like I kind of brushed over that, on their documentation, the high-level overview states the gas and network fees accumulate during the reward cycle, which is the 90 days we talked about. These fees are transferred into the Vortex at the end of the cycle, and Vortex tokens are minted to reward participants based on the participation level. And that participation level is based on two things, the amount and duration of root staked, and the work done as a validator measured in work points, and these Vortex tokens can be unwound anytime, releasing the underlying tokens in the Vortex to the holder. All right, that's it for this video. Just wanted to do something super quick here. If you have any friends that are interested in the Futureverse ecosystem that may be a little bit confused, hopefully this video helps uh, you and them if you're kind of confused yourself. I think that there's going to be a lot of updates and things that are going to be flowing as we go, so be sure to subscribe, follow wherever you're watching this video. We'll hang out a little bit more. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will talk soon.